Good afternoon, guys. This is Sheba D. I am with my grandkids today, and I am going to prepare um, a southern country, I call it a country meal today. So I got me some sausages in here, and this is olive oil. And we are going to um, let that sausage just brown, guys. So anyway, guys, I remember um, telling you guys that once a month is me, myself, I come over here and I be with my grandkids and it's our day. So today I have them for about 10 hours and we are going to prepare us a meal. So now that we got our sausages in this pot and it's cooking down pretty good, guys, we're gonna add our onions. And we're gonna let all this brown. And this is smoked sausages, but you don't necessarily have to use smoked sausages. You can use whatever you want. So now I am gonna add my garlic into my pan. And I got some green onions here we're going to add. So I am going to get the rest of my little onions and garlic and all this good stuff. And we are going to add that in, the leftovers. That's okra. You got to cook that. You can't eat that done. You can't eat that like you do the sausage. My granddaughter, Nina, she loves shrimps. And she loves to eat, guys. So now that we've got all our goodies in here, we're going to stir it up. Okay. And we are going to put us a little season into the pot. And I have some yellow saw here. So we're going to stir that up really good. So we got our season, we got onions, we have green peppers in here green onions rather and we got green onions onions we have garlic green onions and onions in here we have some sausages so we are going to let that just cook up really nice and we're just going to let it brown and you could let it get as brown as you want so what I do is I just let it all brown up together and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this recipe. Over here I have me some rice. We have us some nice rice here. And this is what we're going to eat with that. So while our sausage is browning, if you want your sausage darker than what I am preparing my sausage, you can do that also. Um, I don't like for my onions and my garlic and green onions to be burnt, so I am just going to just brown it a little bit. And then I am going to show you what I'm going to do with that recipe, guys. guys it's, it's doing good so we are going to just let our sausages bur uh, brown and uh, just keep it on low so you won't burn your sausages and your onions and garlic and green onions We 
showing your fans how to make this recipe, Monty. So now that we have did that, guys, we are going to put us some tomato paste into our pot also. Guys, as you know, I don't edit my video. And the reason why I don't edit my videos, because I don't know how, but um, I got some wonderful news today that one of my sons is coming home for Christmas or Thanksgiving or something. I don't know. They send me an email, so we'll see. And once one of them come home, they are going to teach me how to... Um, edit and do things like that. So as you can see, I am working my tomato paste into the pan. We're going to work it in there. And like I said, you can brown your sausages a little bit more. So we are going to just let this all cook up together here. Matter of fact, guys, I'm going to add some more tomato paste into this pan. Okay, so we got all our tomato paste. We got our sausages, we got our green onions, we got our garlic and white onions. We all we, we got it all mixed together here. So just let it cook for a while. And just let it mix up all together. So when you are um, got a recipe that you got to use tomato paste, you can always um, you can always cook the tomato paste a little bit before you actually uh, make your meal. Nina is my youngest granddaughter, guys, and I tell you, she is a lot of work. And she loves her food, so I am going to drop this water into my pan, guys. And I um, rinsed out the can, so I like to rinse the can out and get all the goodies out of there. So we are going to... Add us a little. We're gonna add us some some water with this recipe, and then we are going to just let it, just let it cook. Okay, you might have to add. We are going to add some more water. I tell you that because it's kind of too thick, but I don't want it to be watery. Okay. Now with this particular recipe, like I said, you can brown your sausages a little more than what I did, if you would like. So after you do that, guys, and you put you some more water in there. You're going to have to put some more water because it's still a little bit too thick. Okay? So we're going to add some more water into this recipe. And just let it cook, guys. Just let your, your tomato paste and your green onions and your garlic just cook. So now the next thing we are going to add to this recipe is what you call southern style okra and this is okra guys so you want to mix it up in there well okay can i help you grandma yeah you can help me if you want give it here 
I could do it. Okay, thank you. So we are going to add us a little bit of pink salt, Hawaiian salt, I call it. And we are going to add a little pepper to it after we cook it down. Guys, always do a taste test um, when you're cooking a, a meal, okay? And make sure you got it seasoned to your taste. Um, I didn't put a lot of season in this because I am feeding my four grandkids today. So what we have in this wonderful pan here is we have some okra. We have some sauces. We have some green onions. And we have white onions. And we have stuff. Yeah. And we are going to take this meal and we are going to eat this over rice. Mm -hmm. And also in the oven, I have some mm -hmm. shrimps. Oh. That's so. good. My too. So, guys, I think I'm going to add some more water to my recipe. Guys, you don't want a lot of water into the recipe. Okay? So that's why I kind of use something to kind of measure um, how much water that I put into my recipe. I'm going to put one more little container of water. Okay, guys, so this is how I make my sauces, my country style okra. And what I do is I put this over rice, and that's how we eat it. So, guys, thank you for coming into my grandkids' home and keeping us company today. We're going to come back with another recipe, and I am going to show you exactly how this recipe turned out, and I'm going to show you how we eat it. Also, with this recipe, guys, you could put some fresh tomatoes or crushed tomatoes. You can also put some shrimp in this recipe. And I have seen people put corn in this recipe. But anyway, it's a wonderful recipe, and I, I learned it from my mother years ago. So once in a while, I cook it. And so I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. And thank you so much for um, keeping me company today. And God bless you, and be safe out there. And also, I wanted to say before I end the video, I did see Godfather Part 3 um, last night, guys. So, I, I'm done with that movie. So, the next movie, I'll tell you what I'll be looking at. Okay, thank you. See you on the next video, guys. Bye-bye.